Hey guys, can you skate? No? Good. Yes, even better. Let me introduce you to an insanely awesome sport, freestyle ice skating. What is that in the first place? You will figure out by the end of this video, but let's just say now everything on ice except figure skating and going in circles <coughs> and uh, riding a motorbike. Maybe that's not too far. I have 15 reasons to convince you it's the best sport in the world. Okay, let's be serious now. The best winter sport. It's something new. It's an unsolved mystery how could people just go in circles for so many decades on ice without actually doing anything else. Because of this you can invent totally new moves even with medium skills or create a unique style that other people can adopt. New tricks just pop up from nowhere and when I see something new in a video I'm like wow you nailed it, nice idea, gonna try that next time. It's easy to learn impressive tricks within days or weeks. Yeah, you need the basic knowledge, like in everything. But really, from that point, there are a lot of reachable tricks which look awesome. In other sports you can literally spend years to go a few steps forward from the basic level. All the knowledge is concentrated in one place, the ice rink, and this is a huge advantage. Where do you learn any other sports? Well, you start with a Google search and if it's not an underground sport, you might get lucky and find training hours somewhere. Here you just go to the nearest rink. Ice skating itself, like any other sport, is a good way to relieve stress. Not to mention there are a lot of games you can try on ice and those are super fun. I already covered the two favorites that the local people love to do here in my city. Your endurance on ice is outstanding. and I think this is because it's cold there. You won't overheat, but your muscles can still stay warm to avoid injury. I feel how much I was moving when I get home and eat a dish full of meal every single time after skating. While we are at injuries, falling on ice isn't dangerous. Well, comparing to a chess match it's a torture, but the good thing is that the consequences doesn't change with higher speed. So just imagine you're always falling from standing. If you can handle that, you can handle anything. Evident question. What about elder people or just anybody who are afraid of the tricks or getting injured? It's not a must to add extreme elements to your skating. There are plenty of opportunities already. This leads to the next one. The trick base is getting bigger and bigger and it's already huge enough. Just my own tutorial playlist has 25 videos of tricks at the creation of this video. In some of them I even cover 3 or 4 different moves and I didn't even immerse into footwork stuff, not to mention an upcoming style called the New Blade. So you really have options to choose from. You progress by yourself. No need to travel to more advanced areas, buy more expensive gear, upgrade to faster engines or whatever equipment you need in other sports or play against better opponents for progression. It's only you and your skates. Some tricks doesn't require too much space, which is ideal in crowded areas. You're building up a lot of useful skills, definitely improving balance, endurance, also increasing your explosiveness, not to mention health benefits like a stronger immune system. It's reachable. From financial perspective, nothing can beat the team sports where you just need people, maybe a ball. But for individual sports, ice skating is very affordable. People usually travel or buy expensive gear to do individual sports. <laughs> you just need a pair of skates and some minimal maintenance. Furthermore, ice rings are pretty common nowadays. You will be an individuality on the ice. You will have a unique style that nobody else has. The surface of the ice is just another world. You can skate in the nature, which is just a standalone activity by itself. I remember going to a lake with my parents as a kid. I loved it. I don't have clips from that era, but when we got our driver's licenses and could drive to the lakes with my friends, a new meaning was given to the weekends. That's it guys, I hope you like this list. I already mentioned I have tutorials and I'm sharing it with you now. If you want to learn, you know what to do. Have a nice icy day.